how to update Squarespace SEO titles and meta descriptions. Okay, so I actually created a video walking you through this whole process of how to do this back in 2019. And I got a comment on that video yesterday from a subscriber, Jesse Newman, and her question was basically, how do you change the overall site description? So I rewatched that video from 2019 and I realized that like the entire Squarespace SEO dashboard has changed since then. So in this tutorial, I'm going to give you guys the updated version of how to change your Squarespace SEO titles and meta descriptions for the pages on your Squarespace website and your homepage. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to show you is like where the SEO title and meta description actually shows up and like why it's important for SEO. So when we go to Google and we Google something, like we put in a keyword here, we see pieces of metadata that show up, okay? And the two pieces that really kind of pop out and make a difference is the SEO title and the meta description right here, okay? So as you can see, if you don't have them customized, Google will pull something from your website. A lot of the times, especially with Squarespace, it's going to be whatever page title you gave that page specifically. And then in terms of the meta description, Google will pull text from your website itself and kind of try to like piece together a meta description. Okay, so as you can read this one, it is not enticing in the least bit. Okay, so the SEO title and the meta description are important to customize because these are the two pieces that entice users to click over from Google search results to your website, okay? So I tell my clients, listen, it's not good enough to show up on page one. We want to drive clicks. And how we do that is by customizing the SEO title and the meta description to make this not only enticing for users to click, but also honest, because like we ain't trying to do clickbait, okay? So I'm gonna show you how you can go ahead and customize these. So when you head over to Squarespace, there's two different areas that these settings kind of hang out in. Okay, so the first area is going to be for like these specific pages themselves. So you can go ahead and click pages, and then we're just gonna customize this podcast page. So basically in order to customize the SEO title and meta description for a specific page itself, hover over the page, click the cute little gear icon, and these blogs, well, this page is a blog, so that's why it says blog settings, but it might say page settings, depending on if you're clicking on just like a standalone page. So you'll see the settings and then come down here to SEO. And this is where we customize the SEO title, okay? So basically you can customize the SEO title for this specific page. So I'm just gonna put this one in there. And then SEO description, this is where you're going to customize your meta description, which is this right here. What I did want to make note of is at the time of this recording, Google tends to cut off meta descriptions after around 155 to 160 characters. So here in Squarespace, you'll see that you have a 400 character limit and like, yeah, kind of, but as you can see, Google will likely cut some things off, okay? So you might start to notice that in Google search results is that if people have too long of a meta description or if they didn't customize it, then you'll likely see it trailing off here. So I suggest trying to keep it between 155 and 160 characters so it doesn't get cut off at like the wrong point and then your meta description doesn't make sense and then people don't click and then it just creates a bit of an issue here, okay? So I will say that sometimes Google will show longer meta descriptions not always, okay? It's really dependent on like what the content is and what Google thinks is important for searchers to see when they are trying to find a website to click on from search results. So the other piece is the SEO title. Google usually cuts it off at 70 characters. So let me see how many Squarespace. So Squarespace says you have 100. It, that's not usually accurate. Google will usually cut you off at 70, okay? So I just wanted to give you guys that information so you know. So you would just go ahead and add a meta description that is like enticing for the users to click and gives like an overview of what kind of 
text, what kind of content the user is going to see on this specific page. Okay, so this SEO title will also change the browser tab right here. So let me just save this. You guys can see what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to head back over. We're going to click podcast. And yep, you see this because I added that little pipe in mine when I customized it. right there. So you can see whatever your SEO title is, it not only shows up in search results, it also shows up in the tab name in browsers. Okay. So that's just a, a fun little note to make on that one. So that's how you update the SEO title and meta description for pages itself. But what about the home page? Okay. It's going to be a little different here. So Basically, we click on the gear icon for home, do the exact same thing, head down to SEO, but you'll see that we don't have the same editing settings here that we do for a normal page. So click on edit website SEO settings, and it's actually going to take you to a whole other section of the website. So you'll see we're under marketing and SEO. I'm going to show you how to get here without having to click on the page area, okay? So when we just have our regular Squarespace menu here, you can click on marketing in this main menu and then click SEO and you're brought to the exact same area. Okay, so there's two different ways to get to these settings here and I just wanted to point out both of them. So you can see that right here, this is where we would customize the SEO title and the SEO meta description for the home page itself. Okay, so you can go ahead, you can delete this variable right here, and you can go ahead and write in your SEO title, your meta description. You will see the preview right up here, which is great. We love to see that. Okay, so this is where you would customize your SEO title and meta description for your overall website, for the website itself. So basically in search results, when it shows up like this, like this section here is where you would customize this SEO title and this meta description for the homepage itself. But I did want to make another note here. So if we head over to pages, we'll see that automatically Google inserts these variables. So there's the outline of what the variables mean over on the Squarespace support document. I'll leave the link to this in the meta description. So the percentage sign in S means the site title will go there. If it's a P, then the page title. If it's an I, then it's an individual collection item, a blog post, a product, event, whatever the title is there, okay? So basically, Squarespace has these set up so that some kind of metadata appears even if you don't customize them yourself. The issue that I have with this is that if we keep the site title popping in after the page title, then likely your SEO title is going to be too long. Like I see this happen all of the time when I do SEO audits for clients. So if you customize, I'll just show another example here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So let me head out of these settings. We'll just go to workshops, SEO. Okay, so you'll see that I didn't customize the SEO title or the meta description for the workshop page. So it's grabbing whatever page title I already gave it in Squarespace and it's popping it into here to use it as the SEO title. And notice that the site title automatically gets populated here, okay? So like if I were to go ahead and to customize this, notice that the site title is not going away. And remember I said that we only have about 70 characters? Well, if I'm trying to SEO optimize this specific workshop page, if I wanna do like, if I wanna do it this way, it automatically puts this in here. But if I add a few more words, which I'm on the spot right now, I don't know what words I would add. <laughs> But you can see that it gets long really quickly and it will likely get cut off in search results. So for me personally, I like to delete. Let me just discard that. I like to delete the variable of the site title showing up after the page title because it just it, it gets too long. It gets cut off. I am also in the habit of customizing my SEO titles and meta descriptions for all of the pages that I want to show up in search engines, obviously just not on my podcast website. <laughs> okay, so it's the same exact 
thing for items here too. I always go in and I delete that and I always delete this one as well. We can leave the P and the I because if we don't customize the SEO title in that little SEO section that I showed you, then it will automatically pull whatever page title you gave it and populate it here. If you do customize the SEO title, it will replace it. Okay, so we can go ahead and we can leave that there. No harm, no foul. I just like to delete the site variable. So after you change that, then basically you just click save and you should be good to go. Okay, so your next question might be like, how do I even craft an SEO title and an SEO meta description? So if you need help doing that, I have created an ebook guide that walks you through how to create successful SEO titles and meta descriptions. And I have a code for you guys to get $10 off of that, okay? So I'll leave the link to that ebook down below in the video description. And the code is SEOLOVE10, okay? So copy that coupon code, paste it into the checkout page for that ebook, and you will receive $10 off of that ebook. And then one more thing here that I forgot to mention in the tutorial itself is that when you change your SEO title and your meta description on Squarespace itself, it doesn't automatically in real time change in Google search results. It usually takes a couple of days for Google to update the settings over there. You might be able to speed up this process if you have Google Search Console connected. What you can do is go to googlesearchcouncil.com. There's a little search bar in Google Search Console. You can paste that URL in that search bar, click enter on your keyboard, and you should see something that pops up and it's like, has this page changed? Question mark and then click a request indexing, okay? So sometimes that can speed up the process, but I just wanted to make a note here that the changes are not automatically popping up in Google as soon as you click save on Squarespace, okay? There is a little buffer time in here, so I just wanted to make that note. That's it for today's tutorial. A big shout out to Jesse for leaving that comment on my previous tutorial so that I had the invitation to create an updated version for you guys. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, please give it a really quick thumbs up for me. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and I will see you guys in the next video.